Welcome to the Home Inspector Marketing Podcast. Because you're a home inspector looking to increase your sales, improve your cash flow, and boost your bottom line, you are in the right place. For additional training resources on how you can grow your home inspection business, go to microreturns.com right now. And now, here's the podcast. Hi, this is Mike Crow, and I run a home inspection business. In fact, I've run a couple of home inspection businesses. The true joy for me, though, has been helping literally thousands of home inspectors build really solid home inspection businesses as well. We can help a single man operation be able to do over $300,000 a year, maybe all the way up to $400,000 a year as a single inspector operation. Even better for me is the 80 plus companies that we have helped be able to build million dollar home inspection businesses. I would like to help you be able to do the same thing. So many people shoot for what is possible. And uh, I love that. And uh, the guy I was talking to at church, he was going, what if you shot for what's impossible? Most people don't even think that level. Most people are thinking, if I could just do blank, And by the way, that's a great place to start. But I will tell you, one percenters go, you know, if we could just do blank and blank, man, that would lead to blank and blank and and blank. And before you know it, you've got this whole amazing scenario out there. So uh, our home inspection business, you know, uh, if we could just, uh, you know, uh, do 500 inspections a year. And and by the way, 80% of inspectors don't do that many a year. But, you know, me and my dad did well over that number every single year. Uh, If I could just do that many inspections a year, if I could just hire somebody to answer the phones, well, where does that go? If I could just hire somebody else to do the marketing for me, if I could just hire somebody else to do the inspections for me, that brings us to the formula that I ended up creating for, you know, the million dollar uh, home inspection companies uh, to help people get to the million dollar. And that was six plus two B plus one which, by the way, was planting seeds, all right? So what's your formula? What's your formula look like? If you're running a million-dollar company, I guarantee you it's really close to that formula. Now, if you're in some parts of the country, may may have less inspectors, okay? If you're in some part of the country, you may have to have more, all right, because everything adjusts a little bit based on that. But when I told one guy, I said, you want to build a million-dollar company? He goes, yeah, just like you did and and, and like all these guys did. And and, uh, so how do I do that? I go, well, it's 6 plus 2B plus 1. He goes, I've never heard of that. You know, we had a brand new member on the call the other day, right? Yep. Um, I love this guy. He It was the first call he's ever been on, right? And he's doing 400 plus inspections a year and he wants to grow and he wants to hire people. And he probably gave us one of the biggest compliments I've ever heard. You know, this call was only an hour long and 80% of everything you guys said on this call, I've never heard before. And by the way, usually it's the other way around. You know, 80% of what you guys talked about, I've heard. But that 20%, Oh my gosh, that's going to change everything. Imagine if it's 80% though. And, and by the way, that was his first call. So shooting for what's impossible. And, and so let's just talk a, a little bit of history of some of the seeds that I planted. I remember talking to people and go, I'm going to grow a multi-inspector firm. Nobody believed me. Nobody believed me. Well, multi-inspector firm, that means you and your dad, right? Because <laughs> my dad, uh, he was our first inspector. Uh, he, he, uh, we grew the business together, but he was our first inspector uh, out there doing inspections. While well, I still had another job, by the way. Um, and, uh, and then uh, at a certain point, I told my dad I wanted to start hiring inspectors. Okay. My dad rarely, if ever, told me no. I, I can't remember hardly a time that my dad told me that's a bad idea. Okay, so I got to give him tons of credit for that because I give him tons of uh, heartache for some other stuff. Okay, Uh, but uh, so my dad allowed me to take those seeds uh, and and part of the seeds came from other places where I saw other people doing it. I went, man, if they could do it, I can do it. Right. Um, And uh, but I I used to sit down with inspectors, go, hey, we're going to grow a firm. It's going to have six, seven inspectors. I didn't dare tell them how many inspectors I thought we really have. Okay. Um, and and grew a multi-inspector firm and then sold it for over a million dollars. Everybody told me that couldn't be done either. That was impossible for a home inspection firm, right? Nowadays, that's almost normal, okay? There's firms out there selling right now for over a million dollars, all right? And then we started the coaching business, right? Some of the best people I knew with the best intentions told me, bad idea, Mike. A lot of time, a lot of energy, no money, no this, no that, all right? 
uh, it has added up to not just money, and money was really the smallest of it, but it really ran into faith, it really ran into family, it really ran into uh, fitness, it really ran into fun. I mean, it covered all the Fs, right? Uh, and, and of course, uh, we're, we're in the process of relaunching that coaching business because I took last year off for family uh, to be with my wife while her parents uh, uh, were leaving our, our planet and, and moving on to, uh, you know, uh, another life, I guess. Uh, at least that's the way we see it. So anyway, uh, so what would happen if you shoot for what is impossible? John, just ask out of curiosity, what's something that you know will happen, but basically everybody's telling you it will be impossible? That's a great question, Mike. And uh, when I think about our mission and what we're doing to help uh, home inspectors and other business owners, uh, you know, in the past, for more than a dozen years, uh, you put on, and I luckily got to be a part of that, uh, one of the, the best shows in the home inspection industry, uh, the Three Days of Secrets Revealed. Yep. Uh, and throughout the course of your coaching program and that show, you ended up, uh, and our team ended up helping more than a uh, hundred companies become seven figure companies. Yep. Um, when I look forward in the future and, and you, you alluded to this, we're rebuilding, we're coming back in a big way. And we're, when we talk about being a visionary, you've painted the vision. We're, we're going to, we're going to do more than that moving forward. And that's where we're, we're headed again. So we're, we're looking to help more than a hundred companies moving forward, experience that same success. We're looking at, ramping up and having the premiere show uh, again that, that everyone needs to be at if they're serious about growing their business and planting seeds in those five F's that we we, sh we talked about. Boy, you are dead on. And, uh, and it's kind of funny because people are telling us that's impossible. Right. <laughs> that like, like they're going to do, they're going to do for you guys. Anytime that you, you know, talk about planting seeds, uh, you know, for, for amazing things in the future, especially when you dare to stretch and do the impossible. So Mike, that, that makes me wonder uh, what is uh, one of your future goals, what goals, one of the seeds you're planting right now that people are saying is impossible. Well, and I will tell you that a lot of people I'm telling are saying that, okay, because they've learned not to tell me anything's impossible, right? <laughs> and, and we'll talk about some of the things that people told me were impossible at some point. In fact, let's talk about some of those and then we'll come back to that goal. All right. Sure. In fact, I'll make a note here. So I make sure I tell you the impossible dream right now. Okay. Uh, this is a song in there somewhere, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, um, I, I, you know where I live and you've been to, mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you've been to my house. Yeah, you've been to my house. I actually, worked there for we, several we years. We worked yeah. out of my house for a while, <laughs> didn't we? Okay. Uh, it's a great point. And uh, it's fun to look back and see how far we've come. It, it is. In fact, you know, the we are in uh, world headquarters right now for uh, Coach Blueprint. And we've been here uh, for, I don't know, five, six years or something like that. Yeah, it has to be um, right now. And uh, uh, one of the things that I wanted to do was get us a building where we could have every day we could come, we could do what we need to do. Um, and I will tell you, how many years did I search for that, John? I must have searched for that for 10 plus years, right? Oh, yeah. uh, and uh, everybody kept telling me it was impossible. Oh, that's not possible. Oh, that's. Uh, and then they would tell me, one, you can't afford it, okay? Isn't that one of the biggest things they tell you? Oh, well, you can't afford it. So that makes it impossible, right? If you can't afford it, that's impossible. Uh, and by the way, uh, I've been training people um, to, you know, uh, one of the things I'm really good at, John, making money. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, and you've heard people say that. So it's kind of funny. Uh, but uh, um, how do you afford things? See, in, in, in the 95%, they like to say, oh, well, uh, I need to earn the money for that. Okay. Uh, I like to say, how do we earn the money for that? Or how do we have people help us earn the money for that? Okay. Uh, and uh, it's kind of a cool thing. So now we have this building and, and we have this studio. We have this full blown studio here. Okay. With all this equipment and with the most amazing magic man uh, at the keyboard in there. Okay? <laughs> Shout out to Jess. Uh, that's what we call him, the magic man, because he makes us look really good after all this is said and done. Um, and, uh, but uh, we, but everybody thought that was a little bit impossible you know, uh, when we start talking about it. And, and boy, when we were moving in here, everybody thought we were a little bit crazy. Okay. Uh, and uh, so, but take my house. My house is another perfect example of the impossible. Now it's not really impossible, but that just, I just want you to understand when people tell you that's not realistic, that's what they're really saying is that's that 
they're, they're trying to say, oh, it's not worth it. They're trying to say it's impossible. They just don't want to tell you it's impossible, okay? So they come up with other other trick words, okay? Oh, that's unrealistic. Oh, that's not, or that's not necessary, or or whatever, okay? Uh, and uh, so I have uh, my house, and then uh, there's two houses on the side of me, and then there's three houses behind me, um, and uh, and I start telling people uh, I'm going to buy all of these six homes, uh, and we're going to turn that into like a family center so that my kids could live there, and uh, um, and and you know maybe even have somebody live there that takes care of me and Susan when we get older and everything. And so um, everybody told me that that was unrealistic. That and and why? You know, I told somebody we were rebuilding our coaching business the other day, and he and he put this whole big thing on there like why. OK, <laughs> talk about somebody that needs to hang around me a little bit more, I guess, or has Absolutely. forgotten what it's like to hang around me. Um, and so we, we are now creating. And, and by the way, here's the cool thing. Here's my home. Right. So we bought the house next to it. Uh, and uh, and then I bought the house behind me on one side. Um, and uh, so that, that was three. So that was 50 percent of the homes right there. Nobody thought that would happen. There's three more that I still need to buy there. I look forward to when I can say, and we bought all of those, okay? Uh, plus, uh, what happened was it was very strange. So we bought, there was my house, which, by the way, we have paid off. And then uh, we have the house next to us where my daughter now lives with my two grandkids. What a cool thing that is, right? right? And then the person next door, I was telling him what we were doing. He came down and said, would you like to buy my house? Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, and so we bought his house, and now my son lives there. And by the way, my youngest daughter lives in the house behind me, okay? Uh, and so Crow Village, as we call it, is now uh, becoming a reality. The funny thing is, now that I tell people and I draw it out, I go, well, we bought this one, and we bought this one, and we bought this one, and we bought this one. Nobody's saying it's impossible anymore. OK, uh, and so that's a kind of an interesting thing. But like I said, when I started growing uh, the inspector firm, multi inspector firms were not really done back then. I mean, there were maybe 10 across the country, uh, the size that I was thinking of doing or bigger. Uh, and so being a multi inspector, when I started coaching, people went, oh, that uh, didn't make any sense, Mike. Uh, uh, and then, you know what they you know what they had the gall to say about you guys? Inspectors can't afford it. And I went, what? But they did, right, John? Yep. Oh, inspectors oh, yeah. can't afford it, okay? Uh, and uh, But but let me ask you this. If I gave you a dollar, let me let me do this the other way. You give me a dollar and I give you $10 back. How many times would you do that? You know? How many times will you let me do that? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. And so one of the things in our coaching program is we actually guarantee people 10 times, right? Yep. Uh, you're going to make 10 times what you pay us. It's like you give me a dollar, I'm going to give you $10 back, okay? Uh, and so we have that set up, so we do the coaching. And the other cool thing is you mentioned it uh, about uh, the live event we used to do, Three Days of Secrets Revealed. Um, in uh, 2024, in uh I think it's going to be in February. Uh, we are already planning what that next live event will look like, okay? Uh, in the meantime, we're going to meet with our mastermind uh, three times uh, uh, in 2023. Plus, we're getting ready to do probably a virtual day uh, for not only our members, but maybe for some other people as well uh, so that they can get some of the pieces. Here's the big thing. Uh, one of my goals, uh, when I first started coaching, uh, one of the guys that was helping me went, you know, Mike, you're going to fail as a coach. He was trying to get my attention. He wasn't really trying to be mean. And he wasn't really trying to doubt me. He was really trying to point out a, a, a hole that I had. And I went, okay. I said, uh, why? why? Why would I fail? I mean, I have all this information. I have all this knowledge. I have all this success. Uh, why would I fail? And he went, because you don't need to do it. And I went, what do you mean I don't need to do it? I, yeah, I have this need to do it. He went, yeah, but that's, but that's... It's not anchored enough. It's not anchored enough. And I said, well, what would anchor it? And it actually took us a couple of weeks to figure it out. Um, and uh, my wife actually was the one that really kind of triggered the whole thing. She said, could you help somebody do what you've done before? And I said, what do you mean? Well, you built a million dollar company, right? I went, yeah. She said, could you help somebody else build a million dollar company? So I talked to the, the, the other guy and he went, well, yeah. One though? Come on. 10? 20? A hundred? A thousand? I went, hundred sounds good. Let's stop there. <laughs> okay. Uh, and so we made that the goal, right? And my goal was to help a hundred people build a million dollar company. 
you know? Uh, and uh, we hit that number several years ago, and it, it still does my heart so good. I just came back from a, a conference, and there was a gentleman who said, I just want you to know, Mike, we hit that last year, and I just want to tell you thank you. So people are still hitting it based off some of the stuff that we were doing and teaching uh, and some of the other cool things. And people are, are, are asking me, well, what's your goal now? Is your goal 1,000? Maybe. Maybe we'll do that. But it isn't my goal now. My goal now is to help 100 people that can go help a hundred other people. That's my goal now. And, uh, and uh, you know what? People have learned to stop telling me that's impossible because they already know we already have 20 or 30 of those people under our belt, right? People that are already coaching. Uh, we, had, we had one of the largest coaching businesses across North America. We had 10 coaches, right? I guarantee you every one of those coaches has helped somebody build their business and take it to the next level. I still hear about it and they're out there. They're still doing great stuff, doing amazing stuff, by the way. Uh, and uh, one of the coolest things is that, um, so they, they became one of my, came one of my hundred that could help a hundred people. Uh, and you know, we run not only our home inspector coaching, but our coaching for uh, other people as well that run other types of businesses and they're getting their business to where it's going to be a million dollar business. And by the way, some people have gotten their business where it's three, four, five, uh, maybe even, I think, $10 million in, in one case that I, just jumps to mind. Uh, and uh, those people, what I've also asked them to do is start coaching other people in their industries, helping them do the same kind of cool thing as well. I had a great lunch with uh, a wonderful lady the other day who's running a company, a uh, multi-million dollar company, and talked about her coaching other people as well. When I told her about the 100 that I was going to help, she was like, wow, I'm all in. You know, let, how do we do that? And I thought it was a super cool thing. People will try to tell you what's possible or what's not possible. All right. Um, and uh, my entire life been done that way. John, how many times have people told you that's not possible or that's unreasonable or that's not really realistic? Plenty of times. Plenty of times. Right. And one of the things that John and I talk about because we have lunch uh, every week is that uh, how do you overcome that? How do you overcome that? Uh, and it's one of the reasons I told John, John, it's one of the reasons I have lunch with you every week is because I know you're being bombarded. You're being bombarded by the 95% that are saying, go get a real job. OK, uh, go make real money. Uh, go do this. Go do that. Uh, you're working too long, too many hours and and not being compensated enough. By the way, don't we all feel that way? I guarantee you I'm not compensated enough. OK, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <you know? laughs> uh, but but the but the bottom line is I have I have more than I need right now uh, and I'm going to have more in the future, basically, though, because I'm helping other people be successful as well. By planting the right seeds. By planting the right seeds. I love how you came back to that. Um, and uh, so who are you going to be around that can help you plant the right seeds? Now, a lot of times it can be done by books. Books are a great seed planter. I mean, how many people, I had somebody that said, you know, by the time I was 10, I did this and I did that and I did this and I did that because he got his, he got his uh, library book card, you know. Uh, nice. And uh, so he read books and uh, was on all these adventures and everything. It's a, it's a great thing. But the real adventure in life is really taking to that whole level with family and with your faith and your finances and uh, fitness and fun. And so there's a lot of good things there. So the best thing you can do, of course, is right, is be successful uh, and be around those that are successful. Um, you know, my wife is uh, laughing at me a little bit every day. Uh, she doesn't think I know, by the way. Um, and, uh, uh, and maybe she's not. Maybe she's not. Maybe she's watching me, and, and, and maybe she'll figure out a way to help me even at some point. Um, and, but she did ask, do you want to go to Mars? You know, No, I don't want to go to Mars. But I do want to go to space. You know, Who knows? Maybe I'll visit the moon once, once there's a real setup there. You know, If Walt Disney was still alive, we'd have a Walt Disney World on the moon. I'm just saying we would. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay? Me and my wife started traveling years ago. My wife, after 2023, will be one of the few people... I guarantee it's less than one percent that can say they've had they they have been to every continent in the world. It's amazing. Every continent, and I won't be able to say that until twenty twenty four because she used to <laughs> she used to go on mission trips to Africa, and I I've never been to Africa, but uh, uh, we are actually in twenty twenty three going to go to Antarctica. That's amazing. The cool thing though is it uh, once we travel, it's amazing the kind of people we meet. Those people that are on those trips, they think differently. So I'm making sure I change my environment. So, John, what else do you want to add to this and, and help us wrap all this up for everybody? 
I would just say, Mike, and, and you, you actually mentioned it when you were talking about all the things that people told you were impossible, where you were looking at other people and, say, and saying, for instance, when you wanted to become a multi-inspector, hey, if they can do it, I can do it. Uh, I want to say that the same for you, Mike. I mean, obviously, you are a one percenter, and, and you've, you've overcome that 95% thinking. Uh, but if someone's out there right now as a single man, operation and maybe they're struggling um they they have these dreams for the future but they don't know how to get there uh i'm here to tell you mike's not superman he's not no. magic he's <laughs> all of the success has been hard won but now there are people like mike that are just waiting to help take you by the hand and show you the right seeds to plant and if he's done it you can too uh and of course we would love to help you you get there um but but regardless of whether you, you join our community or not, start planting those seeds today. Start planting those seeds today. Yeah, I mean, you could do, listen to all these podcasts, okay? I know that Absolutely. sounds like a stretch, but I literally went through, in the beginning of these podcasts, I literally went through a book that I used to change the whole way I thought about my business. And we went through it chapter by chapter by chapter. So honestly, if you're listening to this podcast, I would reach back and start listening to all of them if you haven't uh, and bring yourself up to date on that. And I will tell you, John, thank you so much for being here with me today. Thank you for uh, having me. It's so much funner, by the way, when I have someone like you to chit chat with and, uh, uh, and see your perspective. And you know, the thing that you said that uh, I know we talked about at lunch, but guys, everything you do Everything you do is about future banking, all right? Now, some people think that means money. Well, you know, Crow Village is about money, but it's not about money. It's about family, okay? Um, and uh, what we do in charity is not about charity. It's about faith, you know, and having the faith that, you know, people just need a hand sometimes or need some help. Uh, and then fitness, you know, uh, you know, having the right book. By the way, I, I think it was one of our members that said, hey, Mike, have you read this book? And I went and got it and started pulling it apart. And now I'm sharing it with other people as well. And now I'm doing push-ups every morning, you know? Uh, and so make sure you surround yourself with people that can help you do the right kind of future banking. And that all starts with finding people that can help you plant the right seeds. Well, this is Mike Crow and John Laird. Um, and uh, I just want to tell you, thank you, John. And uh, I look forward to getting to meet you and, and let me know if you enjoyed this podcast. Thanks so much. Have a great day, everybody. We hope you enjoyed the podcast. And as a friendly reminder, if you're looking to increase your sales, improve your cash flow, and boost your bottom line as a home inspector, go to microreturns.com right now.